right, my presentation is called The Negative Effects of Fossil Fuels. Um, but it's more just about general fossil fuels, if you feel free for the presentation. Um, the, um, fossil fuels are very important, making up over 80% of the world's energy usage. To extract energy, they must be burned. They are valuable to humans, but have some downsides. As the world population increases, the demand for energy, among other resources, increases. In about 2020, they're expected to reach about 7.5 billion. As you can see here, about 80%, 87% of the world's energy in 2012 came from fossil fuels. Saudi Arabia and Russia are one of the top oil um, fossil fuel producers. This is a diagram of a crew of an oil refinery. It's set up to this boiler, and then the heat divides it up into these different categories here. In the bottom, it becomes stuff for roads and buildings. This becomes fuel oil, lubricating oil, diesel oil, kerosene, pet um, petrol, like gasoline for cars, chemicals, and then liquefied petroleum gas. Millions of years ago, organic matter died. Their remains were covered, were, co were gradually covered in sediment. After millions of years, pressure and heat transformed the remains of oil, uh, the remains to oil and natural gas. A similar process happened to coal. The diagram on the left talks about how uh, coal formed, and this one's about how oil forms in the sea. You can't really see this, but over on the left side. The first part shows plants dying. Um, the peat is compressed between sediment layers to form lignite, which is um, a, um, a lower quality of coal. Then it becomes bitumous and subbitumous coal, which is just a bit better. And then on the bottom, it forms anthracite, which has about a 90% carbon con um, has about which has which 90% of it is car is, about, is carbon. In here. Basically, the same thing happens. Fish and animals die, they're covered. Pressure and heat changes them, and then they move up in reservoirs. Pollution is a big problem on Earth with numerous side effects. Air pollution causes tons of problem like problems like acid rain, rising seas, global warming, and breathing prob problems like asthma and bronchitis. Acid rain is when pollutants get in the air and fall down again in the rain. This kills trees and wildlife. Um, this picture shows how soot from factories and vehicles can kill. So, bas can kill. so basically, um, soot comes from vehicles and factories and the like. They, you br when people breathe it in, they, um, they end up in our lungs. And, the, and they can enter the bloodstream, leading to heart attacks, cancer, and death. Water pollution. Water pollution usually comes from oil spills. It harms mostly wildlife. Plus, the cost to clean up these spills is enormous. So, it can kill fish by suffocating them. It blocks out the sunlight from um, plants like seaweed, and it traps birds, like in this picture. Um, the, this, uh, this chart... At this is a chart of estimates of how much fossil fuels we have less we have left to use. We have about 861 tons of coal, 187 trillion cubic meters of natural gas, and 1,669 billion barrels of crude oil reserves left to use. Left to use. Although this seems like a ton, our reserves are expected to run out by the end of the century. Natural gas has 56 years left, oil 53, and coal 109. What happens when we run out of fossil fuels? If our world is still dependent on these energy sources, this would be catastrophic. If we switch to clean energy, th this would still be a problem because we need oil to make numerous products. Some scen scenarios from worse to not so bad include anarchy, war, the end of globalization, and rising gas prices. This is a list of oil products. It's supposed to go down, but... That didn't, I, I guess that didn't work out. And although expensive at the moment, improving technology can make harvesting renewable energy easier and cheaper. The major renewable energy sources are solar power, harvested from the sun's energy, wind power, hydroelectric or water power, 
nuclear power or energy harvested from uranium and geothermal power or power from heat from inside the earth. There is also biomass which is burning plants or plant-based fuel like ethanol. Hydroelectric power already makes up 77 percent, no, 77% of the world's energy use, usage. Who knows what will happen in the future? We might travel to new planets where we will discover new energy sources. We might still be on Earth using renewable energy or extinct because of pollution. Alright, I'm finished.